Welcome, people of planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Josh, and my family and I make our living by buying and selling things we find from thrift stores, yard sales, garage sales, wherever we can find it, and flipping it on to sites like eBay, Depop, Poshmark, wherever we can sell it. And these are our top five thrift finds that we found this last week. Let's get into it. So these last few weeks have been absolutely crazy. Um, we have piles and piles and piles of clothes. Um, there's still, there's literally a pile of clothes right here. This is all from just one day. This is today or the, the, the next day, the day before this, where I just went to the thrift store. That stuff will all be processed pretty soon. It's not part of this list, uh, but this is all stuff that happened uh, that I picked up the, the days before this one. So there's just so much going on. We're picking up so much recently. Um, it's a lot of fun. So here are some of the coolest finds that we found this week here at number five. We have this guy right here, puffer jacket season. The jacket season's coming up. We have that, you can see the little uh, Nike swoosh, but you can also see a bigger Nike swoosh, swoosh, because this thing is reversible. Uh, red on the outside, black on the inside. Uh, big old check right here. Uh, I do think I need to get a uh, zipper replace or a, like a little zipper pull, but this thing is super dope. These in the past have done pretty well. Um, I've seen them go at least last year. I think I've seen them go for like 50, 60, 70, 80 dollars, depending. Um, and that was a really dope one. Uh, so I think it's going to do pretty well. At number four, we have this one right here. This is a really, really sick one. We have a vintage Mirage, like Letterman's jacket. You can see on the inside here, it's Raiders. Oh, this thing is super sick. It's got Raiders across the front here. It zips on up. And then on the back side, you have this huge hit. Uh, this thing is super sick. Uh, got lots of, I mean, it's, it's a little dingy, but um, for the most part, it's still in really good uh, working order. It's a really cool looking one. Size large, a good size. Um, so super cool find here at number four. Definitely uh, one of my favorites. Then at number three, we have something that's pretty cool. We have an old Philco radio. And what's so cool about this Philco radio is uh, no, the design's okay. But this is actually a tube radio. There actually are vacuum tubes that run this thing. So this is pretty old, 60s or earlier. Um, it was Philco when it was the Philco Ford uh, company, which I think Ford bought them like in the early 60s and sold them in 74. So this is from around that era. So early 60s to uh, very early 70s. My guess is more on the early 70s side, but um, it does work, which is actually one of the hardest things to find. Uh, with these old tube amps or tube radios is whether or not they actually work so you can actually uh, hear the speakers actually do work they produce sound and you can actually tune in uh, so really cool five bucks um some of these i've seen this one there's one on there on ebay right now just for parts it doesn't work uh, for about uh, 70 dollars so i imagine if this does work uh, or this continues to work and all things test out pretty well i think that one of the knobs is a little dirty so that's the pot's dirty it needs to be cleaned up but um, it could go well over 100 bucks. So super cool radio there. Uh, definitely dealt with the vacuum tubes. Uh, you don't see that very often. Those are hard to find, and some people actually turn those into like little like guitar amps. So that's really really cool. So at number two, number two is a lot of fun. We have these two beautiful vintage Woolrich blankets. Uh, these are some of my favorites. Uh, these may not leave my my possession actually. Um, they are fairly, somewhat valuable. Uh, but uh, I can't tell where the tag was on this one. Uh, but these are like Navajo uh, Southwestern print or something like that. Uh, I, I'm not exactly certain on the description. I'll have to look into it. Uh, but I love these. Uh, these may just end up staying with me. There are two of them. They are fantastic and beautiful and really good shape. A lot of times with these types of blankets, you dig into them and you find out that they are, uh, they've got moth holes all over them. Uh, and these are not they've been stored and kept very very clean uh, so definitely uh, one of my favorites this last week uh, love finding this stuff it's super super cool um, and definitely uh, a valuable piece for just uh, my own possession probably go on my my uh, my uh, bed or something uh, over the the winter to keep super warm with these wool blankets super cool now, before we get to number one, I do want to let you know that we do have a live stream on Mondays, 7 p.m. We open up Mystery Rag Bags, and if you want to join us and hang out, you should come out and join us. We have a lot of fun. 
opening up rag bags, talking to one another, answering questions, whatever. It's a good time. 7 p.m. on Mondays. Now for number one. This one is wild. Um, so I was at the rag house, and it's, they also recycle uh, paper and stuff. Um, and so I saw uh, a couple people overworking the uh, shredder, and they were shredding paper. And I saw what it looked like posters they were shredding. I'm like, oh, that looks interesting. Uh, 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 how about you guys? Uh, let me look at that, and then let me look at it. There's a whole box of stuff, and I was like, well, I'll just take the whole box. This looks really interesting. Uh, definitely something I'd be interested in. I'm like, sure, go ahead. And I took the box, paid you know some money for it, and then um, started. I got home and found out what was actually in it. And uh, right here is one of the one of many things that was in it. You ready for this? Um, this is a Pablo Picasso uh, print from the Museum of Modern Art in New York in 198 from 1981. It's not a signed print or a limited edition print necessarily. I don't think, um, but obviously a print of Pablo Picasso, especially an older one is super duper cool and i don't necessarily know what the value of this particular print is um it could be i had two of them actually it could be a lot it could be a little i don't know i don't really care because i'm actually going to probably frame that up uh myself uh there was a lot of other cool stuff there's like um i think it's this one let's see if it's this one right here yeah this is one of my favorites this is the queen mary um, this is looks like it's I believe it's from the mid 70s uh, right here this super interesting Queen Mary poster I again I don't necessarily know much about them. if you do let me know uh, also inside there was this super cool kind of translucent uh, like architectural drawing almost of uh, of New York City and the Museum of Modern Art it's super, super cool. I really don't know what I'm gonna do with this one. I'd love to frame this one up too. Might sell this one. Um, super cool. Like just lots of interesting stuff. There's one more I'm gonna show you. Um, if I can find it. Oh, that's the one I just had. Um, not that one. It is not that one either. Where'd it go? It's one of these right here. Here we go. I think it's this one right here. Yeah. So we have this one right here. This one's super interesting. This is the Normandy. Uh, this is uh, the uh, transatlantic French line. This was printed in Paris, in France, um, in 19, I think it said 1979. Uh, so this poster print, I don't, no idea exactly. Uh, what I'm what like artists I'm looking at or anything like that But I have seen some of these prints that are very similar to this uh, go for hundreds of dollars actually even just regular prints from the 70s and the 80s so <clears throat> Again, I don't know what it's worth. I don't know how much if I'm gonna sell some of them uh, probably will sell some of them um, and it's a little bit <laughs> It's a bit frustrating to try to sell uh, posters. You gotta take pictures of them, you know, unroll them, and it's a little bit of a mess. So I'll probably just sell enough to uh, take care of what it costs and then it'll be able to appreciate the ones that I did keep myself. Maybe I'll sell enough to, to buy a nice frame for the Picasso. Who knows? Anyways, super cool. It's a lot of fun this week. A lot of interesting stuff. Tons of stuff that I did not show you um, that is either all being processed and I can't get to it uh, or has already been put away. Uh, so very fun week we're having a lot more fun there's a lot of cool stuff in this next for this next week so hopefully we'll get that out to you guys next week otherwise thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you guys in the next one peace